Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove, and in this video I'm going to reflect on 20 glorious years of the Goodwood Revival. The Revival is many things to many people. Some attend primarily for the cars, some for the bikes, some for the aircraft, and some for the fashion. For others, it's not one thing that draws them, it's the whole atmosphere of celebration and joy. For anyone who has attended even only once, this event needs no introduction. For those that haven't been, there are some introductory links in the description field below this video. Click Show More to reveal the links. I can't remember exactly the first year I attended. I have video footage from 2002, but I'm fairly certain I was there before that. I may not be able to claim attendance at all 20 revivals, but it's somewhere in the high teens. This footage I recorded in 2002 shows how the aircraft taking part in the air displays used to park in front of the Aero Club clubhouse. There would be a barrier in the fence manned by a suitably uniformed guard checking the badges of those who approached. You could walk around all the many Spitfires, Mustangs and other aircraft and chat to the pilots who flew them. In these images from 2003, you can see a lineup of Spitfires and Mustangs, including Ferocious Frankie and Jumping Jack. The aerial images were taken from a seat aboard a de Havilland Dragon Rapide that was giving pleasure flights. At the 2004 revival, I took these pictures of a Republic P-47D Thunderbolt. No guts, no glory. At the 2006 revival, I was admiring the lineup when a pilot very kindly invited me to sit in the cockpit of a Mark 5B Spitfire, EP120, known as City of Winnipeg. This same Spitfire was present at the 2018 event and took part in the early morning displays. Glam cabs have been a revival constant for years and they were there in 2006. As were these two in their air hostess uniforms. There was another impressive flight line of warbirds in 2008. And a teepee village with psychedelic transport nearby. In 2009, this immaculately restored Bell Huey helicopter dropped in. I don't think a Huey has been at the revival before or since. And there was quite a 1960s groove going on at the main entrance. And elsewhere around the site. Was it 2010 when the Tesco shop made its first appearance? That's when I took this picture. And I am old enough to remember Greenshield stamps. In 2011, my uncle Peter Lovegrove exhibited his restored Puss Moth, Golf Foxtrot Alpha Victor Charlie. And there was plenty more to see in the Freddie March Spirit of Aviation Concours d'Elegance for pre-1966 aircraft. In 2012, the skies were filled once again with the sound of those wondrous Merlin engines. In 2013, the Great Train Robbery exhibit greeted visitors as they arrived at the main gate. And this trio sung their harmonies outside Tesco's. The St. Trinian schoolgirls made their way around the site, as did Laurel and Hardy. Also that year, I took a lot more pictures of cars, particularly those passing by on the Start Line Strait and many more in the paddocks. In 2014, we had some very special air displays from vintage Cold War jets. A Canberra bomber and two hunters roared by overhead. It was a real thrill to see and hear these aircraft. Once again, there were some great costumes and other eye-catching displays. By 2015, I was taking snaps everywhere I walked. And what a year it was. It was the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Britain. So there were plenty of aircraft at Goodwood, not just for the revival, but also for the celebrations that took part at the airfield a week or two later. That day was Battle of Britain Day, the 15th of September. On that day in 1940, over 1,500 aircraft took part in an aerial battle as the Luftwaffe once again attacked London. Thanks to the RAF, Britain held firm, the Battle of Britain was over, and the Nazi invasion of the British mainland was postponed indefinitely. 
In 2016, perhaps due to the glut of aircraft photos from the previous year, I seem to have concentrated more on the cars. Motoring fans will probably be thinking, what kept you? In 2017, I took plenty of pictures of the RAC TT celebration on Sunday the 11th of September. I chose Magic Corner as the vantage point for these. And so to 2018, when the revival was everything we've come to know and love, and to which we look forward to from the moment the last revival ends. The air displays may be fewer and tamer, but we must count our blessings. Check my YouTube channel for more video clips from previous years. What are your memories of the revival during the past 20 years? What were the highlights for you? Post your comments below. Happy landings and see you at the next revival.